Hi guys, it's Braden here from Bell Property, Byron Bay, Lennox Head, and I just wanted to give you a quick walk through around 224 Leadbeater's Lane here in Alstonville. You've got this lovely horse paddock just there. You can see a uh, little jazzy um, just in the far back left. Uh, the horse that uh, is uh, on the property at the moment, but you see some gorgeous trees, beautiful driveway. Uh, as you enter the property, you've got some horse stables up there as well. Um, to the left hand side as you drive in we have a wrap around uh, we have a wrap around driveway you've got a really nice big shed through here for machinery just walk you through here so sneak peek of that amazing view that's coming shortly um, surrounded by some amazing fruit trees you've got oranges limes lemonade trees pecan trees, mango trees. Uh, there's a whole lot of different fruit trees. So here in the uh, work shed, we've got all of that space up there for those people that want some more storage. Come back around so I can just show you the two dwellings. <clears throat> so the main house here with the exposed brick um, beautifully presented very solid house and then you see the secondary dwelling over on the right the old dairy bales or the farm shed so that's the, uh, the original dairy bales that's been converted We've got a covered carport just here as well. Now we have a, a secondary entrance just in over here. So we have the, uh, what would be a studio or, a, or an office um, just in through there. I'll take you in. Sorry, that's been locked. Let's go back in here through the front door. As you come in through the front door, uh, you'll see soaring height, good ceiling, all the way through there, really light and bright. One bedroom here on our left, nice new carpet, fan and air conditioning. We also have built in wardrobes, a linen press in the hallway. Um, open vanity. We have a shower in the main bathroom here and a lovely jacuzzi. Separate toilet. Uh, looking back down the hallway. And then we come down three steps. And we're in the master bedroom. The master has a nice renovated ensuite. Um, loo with a view out there to the ocean. And a shower. And then there's also a built-in robe, air conditioning, fan, down lights, and again, that incredible ocean view through there. It's a bit harder to show you through the camera. <clears throat> so come back through the house, that all opens out down onto a formal dining lounge room. That has retractable fly screens, so you can keep those windows open with a really nice breeze yet not get any bugs more bedrooms on this side really generous sized bedrooms fan and carpet more bedrooms on this side as well again air conditioning fan carpet built-in wardrobes in all the rooms and you'll see down here formal lounge wood burning fireplace that amazing view which we will get to and nice big open kitchen gas cooktop plenty of storage and cupboard space and you have a really nice um, basically round through there 
you can see that view outside. There we go, it's a bit better. Okay, as you come through here, it's a nice air conditioning up there. This is the laundry. Now you've got heaps of storage. We've got, this is lockable. You've got a water closet in through there. Um, we have an attic ladder for pull down for more storage. And this is the office. So this could be a separate entrance here for the office. With a heap of storage. Renovated laundry. Okay, with that nice view. Here we go, out onto this lovely covered deck. It's probably the nicest deck I think I've seen uh, for some time. It's perfect. It's nice and shady. Gets, still gets a really great breeze. Um, we've got a grapevine here over this uh, outdoor dining area that's been paved. Um, this timber deck here is, again, quite, quite large. Perfect for entertaining. Straight out from the kitchen. Got a veggie patch on one side. You can see the back end of that machinery shed that I showed you before. And then turning around here, we've got that in-ground concrete pool uh, with a, looks like a pavilion there and that uninterrupted view straight out to the Pacific Ocean. Good solid design. So it's a full brick house with tiled roof. Um, really well built back in an era where the things were built a lot tougher so we come down the stairs just down through here down to the pool just walk you through the garden a little bit so you can get a sense of the property a little bit more it's not huge to to maintain there's some really nice sort of obviously surrounded paddocks but we've got um just a top area that is relatively low in maintenance um, but we've got kaffir lime, this lovely volcanic soil that will continue to grow just about everything um, and in abundance. Pecan trees up there, these huge pecan trees. Mandarins, got a magnolia little gem. We have their grapefruits. Again, just past this, underneath this pecan tree. Got a chook pen in there, little kids' playground. Banana tree, passion fruits, lots of water storage. Again, just turn you around so you can see that chook pen. The view is just incredible, so it just opens out completely. Uh, I've got some watermelons and pumpkins in there. Um, but yeah, just surrounded by farmland, some gorgeous trees. It's so green at the moment. And yeah, it's just such an incredible spot to live. The breezes up here are beautiful. Property down there on the left still. So you could do more with that side of the property as well. As we come back around the back side of the dairy bales, we've got a nice clothesline back here, outdoor sink, basketball hoop for the kids. Come in through here, so slate floors for the dairy bales, really nice big. Dining area, lots of storage. We've got the uh, kitchen around here, electric kitchen. Bedroom two, so this is bed two for the uh, uh, the dairy bars. There's another living room in here. Another incredible living room. Then the master bedroom in the farm shed here. 
has an ensuite. So very modest in size, but if you've got a toilet and a shower through there. Still a nice ocean view through here as well. Air conditioning, um, laundry. So again, the flexibility of these old dairy bars are great. Uh, the roof heights are a bit low, but um, certainly makes for extra guest room. So you've got another big room in here, which has an ensuite. So in this one, we have a toilet and a bath with the shower over the bath. But it is, yeah, certainly a, a good size uh, extra bedroom. So it's sort of two and a half bedrooms. In there, so wrap around driveway. Lovely spot to sit there and watch those sunrises and just a pleasant afternoon. Thanks very much for watching this video. This is an incredible property at 224 Leadbeater's Lane here in Alstonville. I hope you enjoy the tour and if there's any questions, please give me a call. It's Braden from Bell Property.